think we have some of the best caregivers that Home Instead must have. Um, each of these four women that currently take care of my mother in the evening time um, come with entirely different personalities, but they do, each of them, um, connect with my mom on such an incredible level. Um, when I think back, I mean, I'm sure there isn't time. I could give you a, a character sketch on each one of them. Um, Sandy, who is there with my mom one evening, is just so full of heart and love and comes in and just walks right past me and goes right to my mom and looks her straight in the eye and talks with her. And uh, Tara's a college student who brings just an amazing sense of spirit and freeness to the exchanges she has with my mother. And Diane, who's been with us the longest, just keeps it all tidy and all together and loves my mom. And our newest caregiver, because I took on additional hours, is Carrie, who comes and is just sweet and gentle and kind. So they all have a very special connection. And although my mother has advanced Alzheimer's, she knows these women on a level, I know she does. I can just see it when they walk in the room by the look on her face. She may not be able to tell you what each of their names are, but she knows them, and it's beautiful. I could not thank these women enough. Um, because, as I said earlier, um, all of my mother's children, not just me, want um, the best we can provide for her. And when I walk out of the door at the end of the day, um, I just have 100% confidence those women are going to um, do what's best for my mom, make the right decisions, um, love her, be kind to her. Um, and I, I can't ask for more than that. Uh, I guess I would simply have to say to them, thank you for loving Blossom. Thank you for caring for her, and thank you for making her life richer and fuller and even, because the whole process of the routine that we have in place for her, it keeps her life in balance, and that's pretty difficult for someone who's going to be 93 years old soon, um, and as I said, has advanced Alzheimer's. So um, I would say to these women, I love you, and we all thank you from the bottom of our hearts.